Hello, I'm Linda Sandu, and this is What's Happening. I am here today with our friend Neil McGarry. Neil, welcome. Thank you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Neil is here promoting a Christmas carol. This is from the Bay Colony Shakespeare Company. This is a very unusual Christmas carol, and I want you to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess what's unusual about it is that it's a, a solo performance. And you're um, the star. Well, I wouldn't say it that way. Dickens is really the star. Dickens it, is the star. Uh, yeah, that that. That's a really nice thing to say. Good for you. But that's that's really what it is. Uh -huh. It's that that text the, uh -huh. and the complexity of that text, and um, we're on tour for the. We've been on tour since November. Th we started November thirtieth, and we run to the twenty third. But that wasn't your question. Your question <laughs> was to talk about it. Um, it's directed by my associate artistic director, Ross McDonald, who is a, um, a Brit um, Dickens scholar. Oh, um, wow. And as I've said in the program, he has a much healthier disrespect for Dickens than I do, <laughs> um, which is great. Uh, we rehearsed it around my kitchen counter. Oh. And uh, on days when my son was in preschool, he, we'd come down and we'd have two hours to try and work it all and go five pages, five pages, five pages, That's five amazing. Pages. Wow. And I had done it as a solo piece before. It was supposed to be, this is the tale, this is the, the final show of the Bay Colony Shakespeare 2013 season, our inaugural season. Mm -hmm. And it was, um, it was supposed to be a three-person show that I would direct. Uh, a telling of the story. Uh -huh. And after Hamlet, which was our second show, we had paid all the bills. Everybody, everybody got paid, didn't owe anybody any money. Um, the bank account was empty. And a corporate sponsorship came in in July uh, with Derby Street Shops mm -hmm. up in Hingham. And another incredibly generous donation came in from Ron Richel and Polly Hogan, who were the founders of the Lyric Stage Company of Boston. Nice. And I had worked for them the last year that they ran the theater, mm -hmm. um, doing Pygmalion and Antigone. Wow. And they, they're in Canada, and thank God for the internet, because they found out that I was doing this, and they sent a check. And so that- That's really wonderful. So Ross came to me and said, we don't have enough to pay three actors. And I said, no, we don't. <laughs> but, well, you used to do this as a solo piece. Said, yeah. All right, well, I want to direct it. I want to direct it. And, because I've directed it a bunch of times, and I want to do it with, with just this. This will be interesting. And so we started work. I came to him with the cutting that I had. He came with his pencil. <laughs> and we agreed to disagree, and then agreed a bunch of cuts. and and then got it up on its feet and that's so great it's it's been a lot of fun it's been an it's been an, an extraordinary year of great fun uh, first Burbage then Hamlet and now this and this has been this one I think maybe it's because of the subject matter is the most joyous yes of that's the three. Very, sure sure I'm excited to see it how did um, how how exhausting is it how long is the play it's about an hour and, uh, and 40 minutes or so. That's got to take a lot out of you. It's, it's a marathon. Yeah. So it's a, but Hamlet was a marathon, and so and that was a longer marathon than this. <laughs> That's right. So this is a, this is, this is a, shorter, a shorter run. Um, and I keep hoping I'm going to burn 3,000 3, calories a night <laughs> doing you it. You have you know, to be Hamlet doing did, that. Hamlet yeah. was like that. Wow. You just you burn that. Um, but it, it's it's great to be with that that text and tell that story it had its basis in daddy tell me a story but that's right that's right and that's really yeah. what it is and i think it's somewhere on the third page of the book where it's once upon a time mm -hmm. on christmas eve that's right and I, I love it. I, I yeah. love this story. Now, is it a, a play for children and adults, or is it more an adult play? I, well, I 
think if your if your kids have an attention span and and um, are uh, adventurous, it could be it could be good. I'm a little concerned about my four year old yeah. and my six year old, but she wants to come. So my ten year old came to Hamlet. I think he can do this. this yeah. Um, so I'm not I'm not too too worried. Uh huh. And it it moves. It drives. It's right. The, it really it's a, a you have to get to that intermission and then get to the um, the reclamation, really. That's wonderful. So. And you're playing in many spots. I was just looking at this. Um, I, I like that a lot. I like that you're a one-man show and touring, basically. Everything comes out of a trunk. <laughs> That's right. It all comes out of a trunk. That's and pretty it's amazing. It's in the car with the, with the trunk, and we travel. And, so um, you've been to the book shack in yep. Kingston, to a Unitarian church in Braintree. We're, we're, uh, we just, we did Book Shack in Kingston and then Cape Cod Community College um, last night and the night before. Uh -huh. We have two nights off and then uh, First Presbyterian in Quincy for Friday night and Sunday night. All Souls, Uni All Souls Unitarian okay. in Braintree on Saturday. Then um, December 11th, Wednesday, we are at Newton Presbyterian. This is the church that's a basement new one. tour. That's a new one that's yeah. not on the, wow. it's on the website. Um, tickets are all available through the website. And then we are in Hanover at Laura Center for the Arts. Uh -huh. um, at the Y, right? At the Y mm -hmm. for four performances, a Friday, two on Saturday, and one on Sunday. And then we're back on the Cape yeah. at the Cultural Center of Cape Cod in Which Yarmouth. Is wonderful. It is Yarmouth. I, my yes, brother yeah. played there, and <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to play it. Has this, the, to be able to do something of size. Yes. Epic quality. Well, we there. want you to do it here next year. So okay, just great. put well, us on the right. books, okay? <laughs> and then we're in, and then we're at uh, Priscilla Beach Theater, um, the 21st and 22nd, and then we close in Marshfield at Our Lady of the Assumption Church in Green Harbor uh, in their in their basement. That's so great. Congratulations yeah. on this. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to seeing it and I hope everybody goes to the website, gets their tickets and goes out and see a one man show, a Christmas carol. Thank you. Thank I you. I hope you all come too. <laughs> Please. Thanks, Thanks so for, much joining for having us. me. Oh you're Thank welcome. You. You're welcome. I'm Linda Sandu and that's what's happening.